Hey, Master Gardeners. Glad to have you here this evening. Here we are in mid-May, and I got some vegetables going into flower, which means bolting. So we're gonna talk about what's bolting and what might cause your plants to bolt. So here we are in my garden. I, I dug up these pak choy already. So usually they get two times this size for me. But look, if you look down in the top, it's already starting to make a flower blossom. Here's another one that's somewhat healthy, but again, I've got the flower blossom. Look at this little guy. He never even got off the ground. And I have three or four in the bed that are the same size as this. So this is bolting because what happens is the plant changes from a vegetative stage of life cycle and it moves into a flowering stage. And when it does that, the parts of the plant that you eat are not getting the nutrients that they need and they often change in flavor. So it's not a good thing to have plants that are bolting or going into this premature flowering. Every plant's programmed to go to seed for sure. It's just these guys are going to seed too early. So why is that happening? Before I answer that, look at my spinach. I got one here that's also going to bolt. See these long tapered leaves? That one, that's one of the characteristics that it's getting ready to send a flower stalk down inside. But yet 90% of my bed is all in, still in good health. So I don't understand why that guy is getting ready to bolt. So bolting, why do plants do it? Number one thing can happen is if the day length is changing, certain plants are responding to that. They prefer a certain day length. When the day length changes, boom, they'll go into flower and finish and do the seeding that they're supposed to do. Another thing that can cause it is um, high temperatures or low temperatures. I wonder if that's what happened to my pak choy here. Maybe during those freezing nights that stressed them. But the truth is I had some of them in my cold frame and they also are bolting. So I really don't think that's it. Another reason though, sometimes it's the cultivar of the plant that you're buying. So if I often have this problem with my pak choy. So next year when I buy seed, I'm gonna select a cultivar that says resistant to bolting right on it. So that's a wise word for you. Any kind of stress can also throw a plant into bolting. If there's inadequate food resources for it, anything like that, or if there's space too close, like sometimes I've been known to just sling seed across the bed, and if they're too crowded, that'll force them into, into flowering prematurely. So let's take a look over here. Can you stop it from bolting? No, once a plant changes from vegetative to flowering, you can't stop it. Now what's going on here with my kale? This is really just a hardy annual plant. These overwintered, and it's normal for them to go to seed right now. Here's an interesting fact, watch this. You can eat these. They actually taste pretty good, just like broccoli, even though it's kale. Um, but they're not bolting, that's just normal seed production. Look, one of my rhubarb is sending its a stalk of flowers. I wouldn't call this bolting either, because I know when my tuber, rhizome, big root systems get excessively large, they'll go into that flowering stage, and I'm okay with that. So that's not necessarily bolting. Bolting is when you have a plant that you're growing and for a certain plant part and it's flowering prematurely. So anyway, just wanted to clarify what bolting is and let you know that not everybody's got a perfect garden either.